years, the Monday High School Band was on top of their game. The trophies in the band hall recall the great performances, performers, and leadership of the Purple Cloud Band. Those days seem to disappear when a former band director left in the mid-2000s. But in 2010, a new leader emerged, Trey Singleton. I had known about the tradition that Monday had had for years, and I knew that they had, had fallen on some hard times, and uh, I wanted to be the one that could come out and, and rebuild and bring that tradition back. Oh, we had a totally different band director, and it was just completely different than what we have now. Like, we would play wrong notes, and we wouldn't even know it, and we have this really amazing band director now that we've learned so much from. He doesn't sugarcoat anything and he, he tells you like it is, no matter what, if you sound bad, if you sound good, he'll tell you. And keeping us together has been the main part. He tells us when we get in bad times, he says, you can't fight each other, you can't fight each other, we're in this together. Mr. Singleton has played a major influence upon all of us, I believe. He's really inspired us just to become a stronger band family, and he's helped each of us individually as well with whatever it is we were working on. If there was ever anything we needed help on, he was just always there for us and supported us through every single day we went through. It was quite the journey, taking over a struggling band of 25 students and then growing over five years to a group of 75 that competed at the state championships in San Antonio this year. It was, it was a very slow process at first. It was basically reteaching all the kids how, how to play. Um, the first year was, was very difficult and there were a lot of kids that uh, had gone through the program that had not had any success and they were a little apprehensive about well, this is just another guy he's what what's he gonna do that's different and we started taking small steps mr. Singleton may call it a small step but earning the opportunity to compete at state was a huge step for his seniors who started with him as eighth graders when he first took the job it was a huge moment um, as soon as I got up on the stand and I looked at all of them, I, I knew they were ready, and but some of their faces showed it, you know, we're in a huge place, like this is crazy. But I just, I had a lot of faith in them and I knew they could do what they were capable of doing. You step onto the field and even though the field, every football field is the same size, it feels like it's just so much bigger and it spans out more just because, you know, you're in a bigger stadium and just kind of adrenaline rush, like bigger than I've ever had. But it's really, it's really, really fun. I was proud of what they had accomplished, not just in that performance, but what we had been working on all year. And then after it was over, I was like, no, I can't, that was the last time I'll perform in a marching field. And so it was really uh, sentimental and I just wanted to go back and do it one more time. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Unfortunately for the seniors, there will not be another chance to march with the Purple Cloud Band. However, they will perform together again, this time for the community, on Sunday, December 13th at 2.30. This, this Christmas performance that we're going to be doing here in a couple of weeks is, is probably going to be one of the best ones that we've done here at Monday. Um, not only for the fact that we have some really good players, but we have the biggest band that we've had in a number of years. When I took over five years ago, there were 25 members. Now we have 70 and we have some really talented kids who can, can play very well. And uh, the music that we're playing is a little bit more challenging than what they're used to playing or that they're supposed to play. But they, they've stepped up to the play, they've worked on it. And uh, in the community after, after coming off of our state marching contest performance, they're, they're eager to, to come out and watch and the kids are excited about performing for the community as well. Thanks to a special group of seniors, the juniors and underclassmen have learned from the hard work and dedication of that special group and will help carry on a new proud tradition at Monday High School, one that has Trey Singleton thinking could be the start of a new dynasty. It's, it's really exciting. Um, I enjoy coming to work every day. I enjoy working with these kids. They are some of the hardworking, most hardworking kids that I've ever worked with. Um, they want to, to do the best that they can, not only in here, but in athletics and academics and everything that they do. They want to do the best. And one of the first things that I noticed when I started working here was the, the kids work really hard and they don't let anything stand in their way. 
If when they've got their mind focused on what they want to accomplish, they'll do what it takes to accomplish those goals. Mm -hmm.